video. And today, as you guys can see, we are opening up packs once again. This time, I'm recording on my computer, my face cam, and then opening packs on my phone. Better quality. I know the lighting. Let me see if I can fix this. Yeah, that's a bit better. I'll do that. Alrighty, so let's see what we got here. Actually, I'm thinking about opening this Diamond Wish Player Pack and using it on... Where is he? This Gabriel Moreno card. I'm thinking about using it on... Hey, where's he at? Hello? Am I, I thought Dalton Varsho was on, was a Blue Jay. Oh, I am actually dumb. I'm thinking about using this here on uh, this card due to the fact that they're talking about, by they I mean like people in the Nine Enix community, are talking about how there's a little um, exploitation, if you want to say, or taking a full advantage of the Crisis Mentor bonus, which is Mentor Level 3, and that if you have people with two positions... Both will get the crisis effect for the position that they would be replacing. For example, my Cabrera here would get would give a bonus for both Lou Boudreaux and Wade Boggs, increasing their chance of getting a hit before as Jules Cabrera comes in to pinch hit for them. However, Cabrera will never pinch hit because you only pinch hit for the first spot in the position, which is third base. That's position three. And six, seven, eight, nine get all the position swaps. And shortstop's the second spot. They will never, him and him will never switch. The only guys I'm worried about switching are Hunley and right now Dom Smith with Dolarud. So you have here Josh Rojas for second base and right field. But he will never go in for the right field. There, Edgar Martinez for my DH and third baseman. So it's interesting. You see how people have gone with that so if i was to get dolphin varsho 2021 he, the only position i don't have covered we have third short catcher second right first left dh third again get rid of that that's eight i'm only missing center field so if i got dalton varsho 2021 that diamond would be good for both the, my catcher and my center fielder brandon nimmo that's that. That's the only bit of crisis um, stuff. But other than that, three diamond packs, four team select diamond packs. I was thinking about going Mets for the whole crisis thing, but I don't need to now. So still going to go Giants. Still going to hope I can pull a diamond legend because they have a bunch of legends, which are cool. None I can use, but whatever. So ultimate packs hoping to pull a couple of vintages or even a diamond prime so i can do some combos you know see what else i can do for the remainder of this double mileage but let's just jump straight in and start off with 49 silver packs so today is new year's eve i hope everybody who is planning on having a new year's party or going out and all that stuff has a great day um don't get in any trouble. I know this will be posted afterwards, so I hope you guys had a great party and all that type of stuff and celebration. I know I'm just going to some friend's house, so that should be fun. Um, also, one thing with the crisis mentor thing is that it can only be that diamonds will work for black diamonds, but then it has to be the same grade. So I had a silver Dom Smith for first base in left field. But because he was a silver and I had my guys as di black diamonds, it didn't work. So even if I pull a Dalton Varsho 2021, unless he's a diamond, it doesn't matter. Let's open up these two gold packs here. 
Nothing from the silvers. Not really that surprised. Nothing from the golds. Let's see what we got. A live season premium pack. Sure. I don't know how I got it, but I got it. Let's see. Chris Sale was traded to the Braves. I think that's interesting. There's a diamond, of course. Um, Chris Sale traded to the Braves for Vaughn Grisham. Um, I like it for both teams because, of course, high upside with the Braves and possibly getting an elite pitcher in Chris Sale if he can, you know, can stay healthy. And the Red Sox get Vaughn Grisham. Bunch of control, years of control over him, so nothing to complain about that. It's kind of like when... I mean, it could easily turn out how when the Marlins traded for Starling Mar traded away Starling Marte to the A's for Jesus Luzardo, who of course now is a very good pitcher. And uh Starling Marte is a Met. So uh, it could easily turn out like that. It might not, who knows? We'll just have to see how the season goes. See if the Braves can work their magic in getting um, the most out of Chris Sale. If he can stay healthy, all that type of stuff. Of course, as a Mets fan, I hate it. Speaking of Chris Sale, there he is. Um, I hate it as a Mets fan for two reasons. One, I don't want Chris Sale to completely dominate the Mets. Two... It just is another thing that the Mets shows that the Mets have not done anything major this um this off oh I got the diamond there, nice. Uh this off season. I mean our best signing is Luis Severino. Woo wee. But uh, let's see. Frankie Montas has gone to the Reds. I like that. It was like fifteen to sixteen million. One year. I feel like he definitely can be... Oh, I already have this prime. I'm going to say he stays. Oh, he went to the other corner. Okay, whatever. Um, but... Let's just actually do that. So I have so many diamonds. So many diamonds because I've been going through my... A mentor, and I actually redid some of my mentor, so I've been giving, getting some of those diamonds back. Um, and um, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh, I got a diamond again. Nice. Let's see the Granderson. Granderson's pretty good with the. Sorry, did he get 30 steals? No, he did not. And then Yanni Chirinos. Pretty good reliever card. I mean, high stamina. But other than that, it's a pretty good reliever card. Um, so yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, right, I redid some of my mentor. I changed from... I went from boss... No, I changed to nerfing boss from nerfing charisma. That's been interesting to say the least, seeing how my offense now is scoring more runs, my pitching is giving up more runs. So, all that type of stuff. Oh, we also have premiums to use today on my bullpen. Because we got Lindor the set last week. So, during double mileage, so we've got the premiums to use on... Premium skill change tickets will be used on Raleigh Fingers. And then we have a legend skill change ticket, nice diamond, that we'll be using on... Um, I don't know who we're going to be using it on, I kind of forgot. Oh, yeah, uh, Hansel Robles. So... We'll see how that goes. Jake Berger. 
Very nice card. Corbin Burns, Cy Young card. He's going to go number two spot. I'm going to click number five. Oh, he went. He went number five. I meant to say I'm going number six. I don't know. Sometimes I just um, act stupid. And sometimes I don't realize how stupid I'm acting. Anyways. I did forget to put on Do Not Disturb, darn it. Soriano, never heard of that guy. There's another Chris Sale. What are the chances we pull another Chris Sale? 100%. Same year, too. I can't escape him. That's not good. Season already is. Season hasn't even started, and I can't escape Chris Sale. You guys, you cannot tell me that this does not look like John Boy Media. Tim Lilly. Literally the spitting image of John Boy Media. Two diamonds from the combo. What do you know? What a call. Let's go. Anyways, whatever. Where do you go? One, two, three. Well, how many diamonds? I got a lot of diamonds. Now we'll just do four and one. At the end of the day, if I still have a bunch of diamonds left over, full diamond combos. Like, come on. Elias Diaz, All Star Game MVP. Don't, please don't stay Aubrey Huff. That's my one request. He didn't. Thank gosh. I don't know. I'm pulling a Met. He played on the Met, so that counts. Hundred and thirteen more premium packs to go through. Still have yet to pull a prime or a vintage. There's our second diamond from premiums. Jose Abreu. There's our third diamond. The summer Mac Carpenter became Barry Bonds. Because why not just become Barry Bonds? who's now, I believe, a Kansas City Royal. Ah, yes, four silver combo turning into a gold. Love seeing that. Tim Wakefield. I remember we saw him last time we did uh, packs and combos. Jim Edmonds. Bottom middle. Show me it. No. Top left. I feel like Prime Staying has like Disappeared. I have not seen a prime stain forever. So, I 
by Ryan Zimmerman. Kind of realized that he's now out of the game right as I comboed him away. Ah, well. Same with Endurance Yurte. I already pulled this Adrian Sakart. If I pull him again, I'm going to, like, flip out. <sighs> okay, I was about to say, no way. Solak. Fifty three premiums. Oh, there's my fourth diamond. See, I feel like this always is the case. I hit like a dry streak while recording. And I just do not know what to talk about. And then I feel like this just becomes like dead space and it gets boring to watch. Because I've always thought about like it's interesting how I still open packs and stuff, even when, like, there's nothing, like, special going on, I'll say. I mean, like, the only thing special I have is... I had the SIG pack, but I already did that during double mileage. So, just the combos, possibly pulling something from the combos, who knows... I mean, I haven't pulled a diamond in the longest, I mean, not a diamond, a prime in the longest time. A's legend Joey Wendell, Braves legend Dallas Keuchel, Zach Thompson now of course with the Diamondbacks, There's a, I'm saying Joey Gallo staying and I'm going to click two, yes, he stayed, nice job Kegs, good call with that one. Now, I'm in a little bit of a tangent, Columba -dum, dum because I believe I have already. I think that was O'Neill's good year, yeah. I believe I already have a Jose Ramirez. Let me go by, nope, let me go by team. Yep. All right, it looks like we got a prime combo to do now. Yay. Two angels. Can I pull the 200 hit in one season for the Giants? No, I can pull a gold. Nice. Roger Clemens, maybe. Hey, I pulled Roger Clemens. 71 base, 35... I mean, 20 wins is unreal. Oh, yeah, no, he. I know he didn't pitch in 2030. Oh, I, whatever. Sure, give me Muncie 19. Biggio, of course. All right, so let's do this prime combo. See what we get. A Diamond Mets Prime? What? Again? That's absurd. Before I had Syndergaard Sig, this was the card I was hoping for. That's... I mean, I'll take it. That's cool. Where's my other Syndergaard now? 
you. Bye bye. You're up for a combo now. That's cool. I wish it was Pete Alonso. That would have been cool. The only Mets Prime I could use in Diamond, but to each their own. Let's see what we get here from these vintage packs. A Prime. Okay. And a Vintage. What? Brian Wilson and Orlando Cepeda. Interesting. Okay. Legend? Nah. I feel like that'd be way too much to ask for. Is it though? It really took until the uh, team select packs to pull a Vintage. There's a Diamond. That Diamond Prime was actually wild. From a two gold, one silver to pull that. Pretty interesting. If I do say so myself. Ultimate Team Select Pack. Giants. Show me a diamond. Nope. So. Hey, Jay Pollock. And Michael Conforto. Alrighty, we'll open up 20 Ultimate player packs right now it's 10 gold packs since you know all gold's there last one before i go to combos there we go finally we get a diamond i do think it was last week when we had that insane diamond luck from these so evening it out but oh triple gold saw no xander over there i meant to hit okay i'm saw we Okay, so let's see if I have a Brian Wilson, as well as another, let me go by year. It's my second Orlando Cepeda. So I have this one, and then the SIG I pulled. So let's see, one, two. Brian Wilson was 2010. Oh, no, that's a new one. Okay, cool. So that's a new prime Brian Wilson is. So let's get back to combos. See what we can get. Paul the Young. Man does not look happy on the Giants. Holy smokes. Kirby Yates was a Ray. Never knew that. They did add Scooter Jeanette back into the game. I did notice that. A lot of golds. Um, okay. Yeah, another Kirby Yates to see here. Don't tell me I pulled them. Okay, I've got to bray you. Tuve, Mitch Garver, World Series champ. Mitch Garver signed with a team. I can't remember who exactly it was. Of course, we know Glasnow is on the Dodgers. Two Diamond A's. I not I pulled a diamond, but it wasn't an A. Cool. Sean Newcomb. Boy, man, that's a guy I can. And we'll throw back there. Emilio Pagan. Okay, we got a diamond. I'll take it. I'll take it. If I pull a third Chris Sale, I might actually just lose my mind. Whew. I was close. Pulling a third Chris Sale, that would have been crazy. Josh Lowe. Hope I pull that card. I want to see his speed. Damn. Damn, we're still going? Okay, this will probably be... Last combo before I get back to my packs. Another, this guy again, Jay Cousins. 
finally I pulled them. 64 base. So, 65 this time. Last time I saw it, it was 64 base. All right. Well, uh, I don't know what I honestly went looking for there. Whatever. 12 ultimate packs. Right. Oh, okay. So we got a vintage combo to do. We are able to do a vintage combo now. Nice. We were able to sneak that out. But two diamonds from 30. Another Crusade. Come on now. Two diamonds from 34 ultimate packs. 36, including the team selects, was uh, not the greatest, to say the least. We got four diamond packs. I thought it was four. Or is it four team select packs? Uh, whatever. It was indeed four team select packs. Alrighty. Team select diamonds. Come on, show me a diamond legend. Please do it. No. Diamond vintage? No. Alrighty, so let me go do all the combos, then we'll come back, do the premium skill change tickets and all that stuff, and then I will be off. Nice. No diamonds, love seeing that. Speaking of which, look at the background behind the cards. I can't even see them. Oh yeah, I got no more cards left. But now I do. If I don't pull a diamond here, I'm doing the vintage combo. Oh, looks like we gotta wait. Same thing, until I don't pull a diamond, I won't do the vintage combo. Chad Cordero, we just pulled you last time. Can we pull you again? We pulled the gold. So, let's do this vintage combo here. John Olerud, I don't need you anymore. Because I already have a diamond signature John Olerud that is also a black diamond. Give me the gold. Do it. Oh, that was also a complete joke. I did not want to pull the gold, guys. I'll do four diamond combos. Come on. I would like to see a diamond prime. I haven't seen one of those in a combo in a long time. You have a prime. Uber is a prime. Um, nobody here has a prime, so let's see what we get. Whoa. 57 base. Yikes. Perfect. What a way to end it. You have a prime. You have a prime. You have a prime. Three guys who have primes, but we don't see them in the combos. Then we got Jose Bautista. Alrighty. Now it's time for the premium skill change tickets and then the legend skill change ticket. I only have four because I used a lot of them on uh, Lindor. So, remember, we're using them on fingers, looking for pitcher's chemistry. Show me pitcher's chemistry. It's the only thing I care about. Because then I throw him in the long relief roll, get um, man out of it. Ouch. What's his name? Hansel Robles out. And then uh, rework my bullpen with that, because my bullpen is not great. Yes, pitcher's chemistry, awesome. Just what I wanted to see. Now, legend skill change ticket. Not on you though, Robles. Come on, really would like bullpen day at a high level skill. I will take a control master. That's it. Maybe pitcher's insight 333 or anything like that. But let's see what we can get. Come on. Yes. It's 
slow starter. Nope. Not on a bullpen guy. Alrighty, so now the plan is premiums will be thrown onto Hansel Robles until we can get him a legend skill, a legend set that will work. Then we'll put fingers into long relief Robles out and then try and rework the bullpen then and then throw premiums onto Jerry's Familia and then wait until the day they finally give us the ultimate or the legend skill select change ticket. So I can use that on Edwin Diaz, maybe turn him into a black diamond or, or Sig. Might Sig change him too because I really don't know who else to Sig change. And other than that, that's going to be it. So... Did a prime combo, got a diamond prime. Again, I'm going to keep it because... Oh, do I just do a diamond prime? Nah, because they're Mets cards. It's cool to have diamond prime Mets cards. But let me just make sure you know that I don't have another wheeler. Don't. So, yeah, so that's going to be it. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. And Happy New Year to everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.